Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. I'm trying to tape a different way, so I'm going to see how this works. I don't know if I like it. I guess I'm just used to recording the other way, but I'm going to use a deck I don't use all the time. So we're going to see what's going on with all the collective, actually. So let's see what's going on with the collective. I'm trying to see what you guys can see and what you can't see. <laughs> all right, let's see. All right, let's see what's going on here. Give me a read for the collective, just a story. Please let it be a different storyline. I honestly am so, oops, oops. See, this is new for me. Oops. I am so sick and tired of having the same storyline, the same old nonsense, the same old people showing up, same old energies, same people blocking opportunities. You get tired of it. So is there anything else that we have? Please let me know what else we could possibly focus on. Tell me something about something good coming up. All good, please. Or just literally tell us what we need to know. Yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. You guys need to keep moving forward. Some of you guys have been discouraged in a situation where there's been a group of people bothering you or something like that. Because threes actually have to do with groups, right? Expression. We also have that, for some of you guys, this is about mastering something that you're doing. You may have a group of people out there who do not agree with what it is you do. And that's okay. You're being advised that you are correct and you need to listen to your inner voice. That's something that you want to continue to do. All right, let's see. I don't know if I like this, but we'll try it. I want you guys to be able to see the card. So, sorry about the science experiment being done right in front of you, but, you know, you have to remain innovative. I'm about that. All right, show me what else. So if you guys have been being uh, feeling discouraged about what it is you're doing, if you have people coming up to you or doing shady stuff behind your back, you're correct in what you're doing, however you're handling it. Regain your focus. Uh, trivial life matters are distracting you. Yep, I've been getting distractions too, as uh, the other readers have also. Trivial matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. So you guys are correcting something that you're doing. You're being advised that you have to stay grounded in this situation. All right. So the need to stay grounded in the matter. We also have you will manifest what you need. Some of you guys feel like you're lacking at this time. Maybe you feel like opportunities have been taken from you. Maybe you feel like people have interrupted because distractions do come up. People have come in, interrupted your peace. Maybe they've interrupted what it is you do with work. Maybe there's something going on at work. You will manifest what you need. So there's going to be a package coming in for both you guys. This is going to be both you guys, whoever both you guys are. Oh, there might be a couple here. There's going to be a, a, a package that comes in for you. All right. You will manifest what you need. You want to express gratitude as your plans have already come to pass. So if you guys have been putting the work into a project, a relationship, it's going to come to pass, right? So whatever plans the devil's making for you in the background, whatever they think they're going to destroy, not going to happen. See, you see, the most high is all in this one, right? Trust your angels are bringing you the assistance that you need. Some of you guys have been worried about something that you've been working hard on. Some of you guys are worried about a relationship that you're in. You got folks that are not nice and they're coming in to destroy stuff, but you're taking care of. Give me one more. We also see open your heart. Some of you guys, because of this experience, your hearts could be closed off. No one is perfect. Stop judging yourself. You guys have to understand there are some things that you are kept blind to. I don't know why, but that's the way it was. I guess that's the way it's supposed to be. Some things that you kept blind to, right? And by the time you get to it, you're like, is this my fault? I see a lot of self-blame, people blaming themselves. It's actually been coming up in a couple of the reads. All right, where people are blaming themselves for situations that they really don't have any control over, right? So no one is perfect. Do not judge yourself and others. Let love heal the situation. I know it's hard for you guys to love some people that have come up against you, people that, you know, are supposed to be there for you, people that are supposed to be inspirations to you. In some cases, guys, we're finding out that people who are supposed to be inspirations to us are completely different people. Myself as well, over my journey, I'll say, um, I'm sure you got to know a different side of my personality. It's always been there, right? And I've always expressed it. Remember, I rock with, well, I have the platform Twitter. I love, listen, I love Twitter, all right? So if anybody knows about Twitter, like I've always rocked on Twitter, my opinions and stuff like that. So mine has always been out there. But, um, you know, when you have people who want to destroy your foundation they're gonna go in and try and make it look like oh this just happened look, look at who she is i've been up there 
right? And you know that. So I'm not switching up anything. I'm in a place where I want to find out what is actually going on in my life. I want to develop a relation with a relationship with the most high. So this is my journey. It doesn't stop who I am, but I'm glad you guys have the opportunity to know all everything about me. Am I happy about the way it happened? Absolutely. Because I feel like the DMB in Connecticut, y'all didn't have any business doing this. You stole my identity. I'm a, I'm a screaming. I'm not going to give up on this fight. You stole my identity, so my work life should not have had anything to do with my social media life, which you tried to make look bad. So there you go. That's how I feel about you. So you guys want to open up your heart, and there needs to be some kind of healing. But I, my point is, it's very hard to love people when they do stuff like this to you. But when you find out that you have mega church preachers partnering up with the little local preachers to do stuff to you, it becomes infuriating. So the challenge is, Lord, how do I still love these devils? Because that's exactly what they are. I'm not going to listen. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to miss an opportunity to throw a jab at you. Just like you ain't missing an opportunity to come in my backyard, burn my greenhouse down, mess up my, my reputation, my identity, everything I went to school for because you're lazy, lazy mother, okay? And you didn't want to do the work. You got jealous. You got people at that job that had one job their whole life. And they scared somebody with experience is going to come in and take something from them. Child, please. I don't want nothing from you. You ain't doing nothing but making me more paid. Because this is what you did. I'm paid now. It may not look like it. But I'm paid spiritually. And my banking account is about to be swollen. I know you are mad about it. That's why you got folks that will come up to your house. That's why you have pedophiles across the street or whatever they do. Yep. All right. So let's see what else is coming out. I'm not going to miss an opportunity to jab you people. Get your power back, which I believe I have. And you guys need to be doing it too. You have forgotten who you are. All right. You are a child of the divine. So take back your power. And that's exactly what I'm doing. What is taking back your power? That's speaking out on situations that you go through. All right. So you guys are speaking out on situations, letting the world know what's going on and what your experiences are and prioritize self-care during this battle, during this journey. When you have a bunch of folk who are preaching stuff that they don't even believe, because if you did believe it, you wouldn't have came in my backyard. Right. If you did believe it, you wouldn't have done this stuff. If you did believe it, you wouldn't be pulling up to my house. I mean, I already said, I think on my last read yesterday, these folks are up on the stage Preaching stuff that they don't even believe. Because if you did believe it, you wouldn't have taken the measures that you've taken to stop me. And I ain't going nowhere. I know you mad. I'm still here. What is you going to do? Like, that's the word. What is you going to do? What is you going to do? Nothing. You going you gonna to get the hell up out of here. That's what you going to do, devils. So I just want you to know that. Every chance I get, I'm coming for you. I don't care. Yup. And when there's more coming. Surprise. You know when I say surprise, I mean it. Give me more. Give me another short message, please. Mm -hmm. Prioritize self-care, guys. Make sure you take care of yourself. And then pray from the heart. You have to understand that you've been brought this far by faith. Those who really have faith, you've been brought a long way. And if you look at this, this is a five. So when the trouble comes, you already prayed up, right? And the thing is, you got to keep praying. You got to keep praying against these demons. Prayer really can move mountains. Again, See, if you look at the spiritual and tarot community, which, listen, we'll just say spiritual community, right? We have certain folks out there, certain religious groups who don't want to be a part of the spiritual community. They want to be a part of the religious community. And usually those that are stomping real loud with the religious thing, those are the folks that are fake. They ain't right. Some ain't right. And I'm going to tell you it ain't right. So there's some trouble that comes about and you just need to go ahead and understand that prayer moves mountains. Those folks been telling you this for years, but they don't believe it. I do. That's the only reason why I'm still here. This is the only reason why I'm sitting at a government job and somebody decides they got the devil got in these folks and decide they was going to steal my identity. And now you're going to pay for it. I, I, I'm not worried about the outcome here. I'm worried about my day to days until everything is taken care of. However, I know that I'm going to be taken care of. I know I'm not turning my back. And that's exactly what these demons wanted. And I ain't turning my back. You don't lost your mind if you think that's going to come out. Nope. Sorry. And I know that pisses you off, don't it? I want you to be pissed off. I want you to sit there and sither in your hate. Go ahead now. Ooh, child. Wait a minute. Recognize the signs from above. So when things like this happen to you, it's really easy to say, you know what, Lord? I, I, I give up. 
I give up. I've been serving you. I've been this and that. I've been trying to do better in my life. I've been trying to come up out the streets. I've been trying to stop sleeping around or whatever it is, whatever demons you face, right? No matter what you do, you got people that are going to come after you. But what you need to do is not give up. Recognize the signs from above, right? Some of us are discouraged in this journey, and that's what it's about. If you're one of the people who serve the way you're supposed to, it is not an easy. You will lose everything, but you have to have faith that you will be taken care of. All your needs are going to be met, right? So recognizing the signs from above, look the way you've been looking, all right? It's, it's other people trying to distort your view or vision about something. We also have... Take control of your thoughts. Now, even for me, this is a challenge. Because the thing is, you know, I'm going to be, when I woke up this morning, I was like, it's going to be a better day today. It's going to be a better day. Um, I woke up. There was a phone call that I was waiting for that was missed because it came too early. And then I don't know what that was. So I made the complaint about it. I said what I said. And I was helped, right? But take control of your, your thoughts are creating your reality. I said to myself, in spite of this, right, I'm going to have a great day. So, in spite of everything, I'm going on about my day and the devil shows up at my door, all right? And I can tell by the verbiage, they I, they knocked on the back door. They wouldn't say who they were. I said, mm-hmm. Turns out it was, you know, it was one of my mother was my mother's friend. My mother was outside in the front or whatever. Why didn't you say who you were? Because you already knew it was a problem. So the devil will try and destroy your day. Take control of your thoughts. You'll wake up with the intention of having a great day. I'm going to be in prayer all day long. I'm going to meditate all day. I'm going to do this and that. And the devil will show up at your door and think they're going to get in. I did not let the devil in. I told the devil what it was and I had to call up the law. The long arm of the law. So this is just a little message of reflection, if you will. Do not give up. I want you guys to keep praying, keep meditating. I want you to get your power back. Know that this is warfare. These are demons up against you. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's the devil that'll make somebody get up and preach on the pulpit and then turn around and work directly with mega preachers and their sons and daughters to destroy you. That's the devil. It really is. And so sometimes because these people have so much influence, the masses is not going to listen to these folks. The only thing the masses is going to listen to is the lawsuits. And that's unfortunate. But that's what it is. So that's really the only way to deal with these demons, right? In order for the masses. I know I ain't lying. And y'all know I ain't lying. Anybody that listens to me, I ain't lying. I don't hold back. I really don't. I woke up with the intention to have an amazing day. I was going to be in meditation all day. See, today was a day where it's supposed to rain. And raining, it does something to my spirit. I love it. Some people hate rain. Rain does nothing but draw me into meditation and prayer. I love it. I, I, I cherish the days when it rains. I love it. Right. So the devil knowing that wanted to destroy my day, but what the devil did was bring more attention to him or herself and it didn't work. So here I am. What is this? My, I think, uh, my last video, my first video of the day came out like overnight. So I don't know, but I'm still recording and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going because that's what I'm supposed to do. That's what I want to do. I am not going to stop serving because you don't like the way I serve. Me personally, the reason why I don't rock with you is because I don't like the way you get up. You you do a speech on the, on the stage, the pulpit with a roll on and then you go and have sex parties, right? I don't like the fact that you get up and preach stuff that you don't even believe. Because if you did, if you did operate by faith, none of this stuff would be happening, right? So devils. My question to you again, what is it that you are hiding? You guys have to realize something. In, in this earth, on this earth, everything that you know, well, in this country, I want to say, right? Everything that you know is complete opposite. Everything. You think you're growing up one way? I, like me, for instance, I thought I was growing up with a loving family only to find out when I look back at it and when I was advised of certain things, it was demonic the whole time. So at my age, now in my life, I have to deal with the fact that I have a mother who's abusive and a mother doesn't love me. She never has. I also have to come to grips with something, you know, and I don't want to cry here, but I have to come to grips with the fact that what I saw all along, the treatment that was different, the way I was treated versus the way my brother and sister were treated, it was intentional. So those are some like, so those are the things that even later on in life you have to come to grips with. It's hard because you don't want to think that a parent would do something like that. But if you look back at it, you can see the whole time that this person is capable of working with other people on the outside. They are capable of, um, you know, uh, having mega preachers 
pay them to take care of their bills so they can sacrifice you. It's a sad reality, but it's one that I have to deal with. It's one that I have to pray through. And I'm going to keep going. I'm not giving up my channel. I already said that. So whoever don't like it, you can kiss my black behind. I'm being nice, right? Because I'm, I'm trying to watch my mouth today, right? But at the end of the day, guys, I wanna, I'm going to let you guys go because this is 15 minutes already. And I got nine cards up here. And I don't want to keep this long. But keep going. Don't give up. It doesn't look pretty. The realities that you guys are going to run into and find out about are not pretty. Some of you guys are going to find out your daddy ain't who, who the mama said it was. Some of you guys are going to find out that the mama or daddy knows the siblings have done things against you, yet they choose to cover it up. Whether it be a pregnancy, running prostitution rings, and they're going to sit back and act like, oh, I don't know, you a lying wonder. So I'm going to call a spade a spade, and I'm going to call the devil out for who is she, he or she is. It is what it is. So, you know, we all have our own ministries, and just because that one over there, mama or papa or or preacher, whoever don't like it, that's too bad. You ain't got the watch, but you won't be praying, right, against me. You can, but it ain't going to work. Obviously, everything you did ain't work. You ain't doing nothing but building my popularity. That's number one. And number two, I got all these people that listen to my content, yet the numbers don't reflect. What does that look like to you, devil? So, yes, honey, you been caught. I want you to know. I'm serving you notice that you been caught. You're going to get more notice coming, but you been caught. The devil is not invited in. You guys need to protect your space at all costs because these demons are out to destroy you. It is the folks right next to you. It is the people that you are inspired by. They will steal your content. They will partner with demonic spirits like the, you know, the bloggers. They'll get right in the bed with the bloggers after the blogger just got through destroying their family. They'll help right in the bed with them. Not necessarily in the physical bed, but the financial bed. They'll hop right in the bed with them. This is an example of people who will partner with other people just to get their point across, even if they don't like them, right? My goal is to take the little, little YouTuber down with 13,000 subscribers and leave the other ones alone. Now, what sense does that make? Sound like a payoff to me. So yes, you will be exposed. And every time you move wrong, devil, I'm coming for you. So you could take that, uh, nigga. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to leave y'all with that. This was just a quick message of encouragement. I want you guys to hang in there. I want you guys to accept the reality of situations for what they are. Even though my, my mother would never do that. Oh, yes, your mama would. If your mama is overtaken by certain demons, if she got certain spirits in her, if she has a spirit of lust, if she has a spirit of greed, she will do these things. You have to understand, we are in the last days, people. These are the last days. These people will do anything. There is no such thing as having a conscience when it comes to the most high. They don't have it. They've never had it. They've never had it. So that's, you know, you have to be, you have to be aware of the ills of the devil. Is that what they say? The ills of the, the devil will show up at your house when you're supposed to have a good day. And then they'll sit there and act like that. You should have heard them. The blood of Jesus. What are you yelling the blood of Jesus at my door for? I ain't coming to your house. You came over here and because I was not willing to hear all the nonsense you had to say, which was nothing. You get mad about it. Don't come back over here. Me and you ain't on the same page and we never will be. So let's just call it a right. You know, how long y'all been hearing me say, let's call this a day? Yet the devil keeps showing up. So it makes you question, what exactly is the devil hiding? So being that these people control the masses, the only way for you guys to prove your point that you ain't crazy is to file paperwork at the courthouse. It is what it is. You know, I, I, I see the more uh, lawsuits that come out, folks are starting to look and say, oh, something's wrong. Y'all been knew something was wrong. You have all these people that are clearly up on the pulpit and we know what they're about. We know what this sexual, if you look, you, you'll see it. These people been hiding stuff. So I'm here today to bind the devil and I'm going to keep binding the devil and I'm going to keep praying. And I don't care what any of you people think, period. I know, I know who the devil is in my house. I know who the devil is in my community. I know those folks that perpetuate certain things in our communities any community, now, that's not just limited to the black community. You have the Hispanic community. You have, uh, I guess, the white American community. You all got devils that are in bed with certain folks, whether it be financial bed or literally in bed with people. So those are the devices of the devil that you want to look out for. Call them out. You, you know, like I said, everything is completely opposite. You know, you got people up with the Bible yelling and screaming and hopping around. And then they take the robe off and they go have their sex parties. It is real. It's not a joke. 
it's real. So then they come after people like me, say, oh, you can't pull cards. Well, you can't have sex parties after you get off the pulpit. Sit yourself down. I'm going to keep fighting. I don't give up. And you know that. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I love you. I'll see you guys in a little while with another read. Bye.